Hey friends. Um, so I learned something today. I learned that you cannot uh, schedule a stream on Facebook Live and then stream it through Facebook. It's like all for third party stuff. I was I felt really smart scheduling this thing at eight o'clock and then I was like, why can't I start it? Um, fortunately, Google had some answers for me. So anyway, uh, maybe I'll figure some of that out and do a scheduled post that is connected to the actual live stream. Um, but for now, here we are. Happy Tuesday. Uh, you made it to Tuesday night. It's got to feel good, right? Um, yeah, I hope that you had an opportunity to um, bring some joy to somebody else today, even if it wasn't in person. And I, hi, Swan. I also hope that um, maybe somebody blessed you in a way and that you could maybe enjoy something, find that silver lining, I guess. Um, so yeah, I think I'll wait. Hi, mom. Um, I told you guys, I knew she'd be here. That's Karen Day, she shows up, it's awesome. Um, yeah, we've, the hilarious part is this week is spring break anyway. And I still feel like, you know, when you, you have the week off just cause you know, it's going to be one week versus now it's going to be an indefinite amount of weeks. It has a completely different feel to it. Also, we can't like go to worlds of fun or the zoo or those kind of things. Although I have seen some really cool free resources for kids, like watching the zoo cam. Uh, we we got to see the penguins today on the penguin cam at Kansas City Zoo. Um, I saw that there are some art museums that are doing free live tours. Um, and there are some people, so the guy who does the voice for Olaf in Frozen is reading stories to little kids live every day. And Mo Willems has this, he wrote the pigeon books and the elephant uh, and Piggy, all the cute little kids books. He's doing a lunchtime with Mo like drawing thing. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that folks are putting out there. Uh, and boy, am I grateful, right? Cause I, it looks like we may be doing some version of homeschooling, not even may, like we will, uh, not my forte. So thank God that there are other people out there. Hi Lori. Um, who know what they're doing and are here to help us. Cause boy, I will never, ever, ever whiff on teachers appreciation week again, ever. Oh, hi Lynn. Oh, it's so nice to see you guys. Um, so I'm going to wait one more minute till 8.05 before we get going, just because if you just joined us, I realized I learned something today. I was today years old when I found out that if you schedule a Facebook Live post, you have to use third party uh, video software that I don't have. Because... <laughs> Remember, see earlier posts of, I don't know what I'm doing, uh, which is, it's it's still true. Hi, Jackie. Um, yeah, so maybe tomorrow I'll learn more things and it'll get even more exciting. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so I love the... Book of Common Prayer for Ordinary Radicals. And they have all of their prayers and um, liturgies available online for free. Uh, so if you're looking for something like that, um, I think it's commonprayer.net or org. Um, just Google Common Prayer and you'll see it. And it, uh, it's really, really a wonderful resource. Um, so I have a prayer from that, uh, their Tuesday evening, kind of the end of that liturgy prayer. Oh, 
I hear a dog that's eating. Wesley, Wesley, sorry. Mike is giving Noah a bath and no one is monitor monitoring the kitchen situation. And I feel like there is food that is about to get eaten. Um, makes me a little bit anxious, but we will press on. Um, so will you pray with me? Almighty God, we give you thanks for surrounding us as daylight fades with the brightness of the Vesper light. And we implore you of your great mercy that as you enfold us with the radiance of light, so you would shine into our hearts the brightness of your Holy Spirit through Jesus Christ, our Lord. May the Lord bless us and keep us from all harm and may God lead us to eternal life. Amen. So first song I had for us tonight is one of my favorites. It's not new. <laughs> it's not new, but uh, it is a good one. It's Oceans. Classic Hillsong. Um, and very much a theme song of a season of the unknown. <sighs> so... Call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, your feet may fail. And there I find you in the mystery, in oceans deep, a faith will stand. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. Your grace abounds in deepest water. Deeper than my feet could ever wander. 
keep my eyes above the waves. My soul will rest in your embrace. I'm yours, and you are You know, the one line that really stands out to me today is in the bridge. My faith will be made stronger in the presence of my Savior. Boy, you know, I hope and pray, if anything, my faith is made stronger in this season. Um, I don't always feel like that is the case. Um, but at the same time, you know, like <laughs> it's happening, I think. I think. You know, I, I think we're being made stronger um, in a season of unknown and in a season of uh, just uncharted territory and distance, right? Like, that's the question that our church staff keeps asking each other is how do we stay connected with our people, um, with the church when we're not actually with each other? Um, you know, we've known that hospitality is a crucial part of church and have been really striving to, to step it up in that area, which is hilarious because we don't get to worship in person and we are focusing on, you know, greeting and ushering and welcoming and what do we give them so they feel welcome. And, um, that's all out the window right now. Um, and we're trying to rethink, okay, how... Do we make sure that every person knows that they're cared for and that they matter and they are a part of, of this community as well as the person who hasn't yet come, right? And I don't know. I, I think we're going to be looking for different ways like this, right? Like we can be together when we're not like we're all in each other's living rooms bedroom like we're all together even though we can't see each other um we are we're sharing in the body of christ in a completely new and weird way <laughs> um so yeah i don't know that's that's why that that last line boy my faith will be made stronger in the presence of my savior because god is with us that is one thing that I know for sure. Um, so the next song I have here um, is a Lauren Daigle. I did a Lauren Daigle last night too. I almost did this one last night and I was like, oh, I shouldn't do two in a row. I should just space them out. Um, and boy, I just, I just love her. I think she has a prophetic voice that reaches all sorts of folks. Um, and this one's called You Say, and it reminds us um, who we are, who God says that we are, regardless of who we feel like sometimes. So, uh, yeah, let's dive in. Gee, got my, got my key, I got all my stuff. And I think I said this last night too, but if there's a song that's just been on your heart that you would really love to hear, um, I'm coming back. I'll be here tomorrow. So uh, send me a message or leave a comment and be like, oh man, I really wanted this. Uh, this is a song on my heart because um, I do not have the monopoly on knowing good songs. <laughs> There's always new ones to, to, um, to share and learn. Whoops. Hold on. I'm going to pull one thing up. Don't go anywhere. I mean, you can go somewhere if you want, but I just need one second. Ah, there it is. There it is. Okay. I keep fighting voices in my mind that say I'm not enough. I 
Every single lie that tells me I will never measure up Am I more than just the sum of every high and every low? Remind me once again just who I am because I need to know. The only thing that matters now is everything you think of me. In you I find my worth, in you I find my identity. Taking all I have and now I'm laying it at your feet. You'll have every failure, God. You'll have every victory. so much hey guys you want to see my little pal do you see that waffles she just came and snuggled me she's so cute and if you guys think that's wesley it's not it's the puppy they're basically twins but 10 years apart um yeah i don't know i don't have any other thoughts i think i think i might just move on to one more one more song. Um, it's a John Mark McMillan. It's called Future Past. Um, gosh, it's just so special to share in this stuff with you guys. <sighs> I'm going to pull up the chords because I need them. <laughs> I was like, please don't go to sleep. Please don't go to sleep, computer. 
because it won't do it when I uh, when I have the recorder up, but it will go to sleep when I have my song sheets up. And if you're wondering why I don't have them up on another device, it's because my children would happen to be on the other. Well, I think one of them's taking a bath, but the other one's definitely on my iPad. So you're doing great, guys. We're all doing great. Um, yeah, it's such a good one, especially thinking about trusting God. This was a Maggie pick. Thanks, Maggie. Um, and it always makes me think of my friend Rush Beam because he was the first person I ever heard play the song. You hold the reins on the sun and the moon Like horses driven by kings You cover the mountains the valleys below, the breath of your mighty wings. All treasures of wisdom and things to be known are hidden inside your head. And in this fortunate turn of events, you ask me to be your friend. Ask me to be your friend And you, you are my first You are my last You are my future and my past And you, you are my first swimming inside the breath of your desire where could I run to where could I hide from your heart's jealous eye all treasures of wisdom things to be known are hidden inside of your head and in this to be your friend, you ask me to be your friend, and you, you are my first, you are my last, you are my future and my past, and you, you are my
I hope tonight that you would take comfort. Oh no, stay. Um, that you would take comfort in God being our alpha and our omega, omega, our beginning and our end, and that God has got this, um, and and we can trust in God, and that doesn't necessarily mean that everything's going to work out quite like we had planned, but uh, best of all, God is with us, right? God is with us. Um, so I hope in the moments that you feel a little scared or out of your depth when you're trying to homeschool your children or figure out hospitality in a ministry that doesn't know how to not be in person um, or navigate other things that are more serious, like job uncertainty um, or medical issues. I mean, I have a friend who's a teacher who's who had a student last year who had cancer and um, came back from that cancer and is in the hospital again. And um, pray for her. She is so sweet. And I've never met the little girl, but um, I know she needs our prayers. And I have another friend who has very real possibility of losing her job that she's been at for a couple decades almost. Um, and I know she's not the only one. So pray for each other and be gentle with yourself. And I mean, listen to me, don't, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. <laughs> I'm just telling myself these are the things that um, are encouraging to me when I, when I feel all the feels. And you know, I'm a feeler because empathy is my number one. Um, so I just, uh, I pray that, um, that God would be with us and, and uh, that we could be with one another, even when we're not physically with one another, and that you all may uh, go in peace. Take care, you guys. Night-night.